Kaskui Kwasa Natasuis Lindsay, a English set Natasuis Wama Sukatan at Naha Higansit Katavatesh Wachi Ajusatanin Yukisak. So what I said there was Hi, my name is in English, my name is Wama Sukatan or Loving Sea in the Narragansett language, and thank you for listening to me today. So the story I'm gonna tell you is a traditional Narragansett story about how we got our strawberries. Many, many moons ago, there lived a family with a son and a daughter. Now, as many siblings do, these siblings fought. They fought all the time. They fought in the day, they fought at night, they fought about big things, they fought about little things. And one day, their parents just couldn't take it any longer. And so they did what many parents do when they are just had enough with their kids. They said, you guys need to go and play outside. Our one rule is that you cannot pass the river. And so, of course, they went outside and listened to their parents, but they were really quite upset about it. And they did as any kid did, and they went right to the river. They started walking. I can't believe that mom and dad sent us out. I mean, yeah, of course they love us, and yeah, we argue, but we don't argue that much, and how is making us hang out with each other gonna make us argue any less? And they started talking to themselves, and then they started laughing to themselves, and they were really actually having quite a good time, more fun than they've had in a while. And when they got down to the river, the brother said, okay, it's time to turn back, and the sister said, oh, I mean, we could turn back, but mom and dad, they sent us outside, and... I think it'd be fun to cross the river, and what they don't know won't hurt them. And the brother shut that down so quick, he said, no, I'm not crossing the river, and if you want to do that, you have to go by her yourself. And the sister, of course, she was too prideful. She said, well, then I'm going by myself, and I'm going to have more fun without you. He said, yeah, right, I'm going to have more fun without you. And so they went their separate directions. But immediately as he started walking, the brothers realized that it was not as fun walking by yourself. And as he would come up with a joke, because he was quite a jokester, he just had to keep that to himself and sister wasn't there to laugh. And as he would see these beautiful things around him, he couldn't share them with his sister and he started to become really sad and lonely. Now, sister... She was having a great time. She was seeing all kinds of new things. She said, oh, brother, he is really missing out on this. I am having such a good time. Who needs him? And then she saw a crow perch down right in front of her. And she said, brother, do you see this? And she realized her brother was not there to see it. And it made her kind of sad, but she, she just ignored it. She brushed it off. You know, yeah, brother, he didn't get to see Crow. I got to see Crow. And then a Watukwas, a rabbit, came walking in front of her, hopping in front of her. And she said, brother, did you see the Watukwas? But of course, brother was not there, and she started to get really sad. And then she, she said, you know what? No, brother chose not to come, and so he chose not to see these cool things. And then she was walking in the path, and she saw in a skoog a snake. And it was such a beautiful skoog. And she said, brother, do you see this? I dare not get too close, but wow, what a beautiful skoog, what a beautiful snake. And then she looked, and her brother wasn't there. And now she was sad and alone and a little frightened. And she, saw, she began to cry because she just missed her brother so much. She said, I'm so sorry, brother. Oh, it's not so fun without you. And as she cried, at her footsteps grew up strawberries. And she looked down as she noticed them. And she realized this was a gift from Creator, a gift that she must bring back to her brother. And she began to pick those strawberries as she walked. And she, she began to be thankful for her friendship with her brother. And so, when she crossed the river back, and as soon as she saw her brother's back, she said, Brother, brother, I'm over here. I'm so sorry. And he said, No, I am so sorry, sister. Life is not fun without you. I, I have so much more fun when I have someone to laugh with, and I have someone to be with and play with. Don't be sorry. I'm sorry. And she said, No, brother, I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry that I'm always fighting with you. I knew I shouldn't have crossed the river. You were right all along. 
and I brought you these. And she shared with him the strawberries, which in the Narragansett language are called Watahumniash, which means heartberries. It's a gift from your heart. And from that day on, the brother and the sister, they ate those strawberries and they renewed their friendship. And that's why strawberries are a sign of friendship and we say never to eat a strawberry alone. Hanivre, the end. Thank you guys so much for watching me today. Bye-bye. Peace, good night.